Hey, Internet Psycho here, and welcome to another exciting episode of Let's Play Super Mario World. On the last episode... <laughs> oh, you guys just got rolled! I am such a jerk. Anyways, let's go do this level. Valley of Bowser 4. So this level is pretty much a serious butthead because the secret exit is like right at the end, and you have to have a Yoshi to do it. And they give you the Yoshi way early on, so you have to like do the whole level without losing Yoshi just to get the secret exit. It's gonna be a big pain in the butt. I'm gonna go down this pipe. This one's kind of weird, you actually travel backwards, but for doing so, you get this power up! Yeah! Let's move on back out of here, that's all that's in here really. And it puts us back over here. Now I have to jump across this again. And hit this and climb up the vine. So I've got a bit of an interesting story for you guys. Here's Yoshi. I was at school yesterday, and it was really hot out. I mean, not too hot. It was like maybe 70 or 80. But compared to what it's been lately, that's pretty hot. And I didn't bring any water, so I decided to buy a water bottle. So I walk for a while to get to the closest vending machine. I whip out a dollar and spend about five minutes trying to get it to accept the dollar. It was one of the most frustrating things I've ever had to do. And there goes Yoshi. Oh, I got him still, sweet. And anyways, it finally takes it in. I'm like, sweet, I pushed the button for the water bottle. And of course, they cost a dollar twenty-five. Not just a dollar. Fantastic, right? You know, I figure, okay, they have to pay the guy to put it in the vending machine. They have to pay for all that crud. I'm gonna boink back to that key that you just saw me fly over with Yoshi. Boink! And we're back. This is why we need Yoshi. You have to have him to lick up the coin, and there you go. Anyways, as I was saying, you know, I figured... $1.25, okay, they have to pay the guy to put the stuff in the vending machine, they have to pay for the water itself, they have to pay to run the vending machine and all this stuff. Okay, so I reach into my pocket, look for a quarter, and you know what, I don't have a quarter, so I have to go through the trial and error of like 10 minutes to get another dollar bill to go in, and after I finally get that, kaboosh, out comes the water bottle, and oh no, it's like a third gone already. For some reason, I get a water bottle that's only like two-thirds full. And the change it gives me, it's supposed to give me 75 cents, it gives me one quarter. So I basically just spent $1.75 for two-thirds of a water bottle. Isn't that fantastic? And that was almost death right there. Have you guys ever had a frustrating experience like that? It's probably one of the most frustrating things ever. And you guys know me, I'm a pretty calm guy, but... That was pretty bad. Anyways, let's get through this castle. This is, I think, the only... Aside from Castle 5, I think this is the only automatic chocolate block section in the game. And this one's really long for some reason. Not like how long it takes, but the thing I'm writing. I was debating making a never-ending poop joke here, but... Oh well, I think this will be fun. Or, no joke's fine, you know, whatever. Instead, let's just skip dragon coins! Why do I feel like I'm doing something wrong? Oh, come on, it was just here. Alright, it's gonna make some awkward stairs. Good thing Mario's like a skilled jumping plumber. And jump off right. Oh, you'd think to jump off right there, but instead, let's ride it down. And oh no, they hit a secret midway point! With all kinds of stuff. And bam. Pretty sure this leads you to the same area, but you get a midway point, which is nice. Especially when you're terrible like I am and you die all the time. So let's... Oh, we have to wait for Magic Koopa to break these, since we don't have a cape. Waiting is awesome! There he is. Alright, I'm not gonna be able to fit through there, so let's... There we go. That actually went pretty smoothly. Oh, what? I never knew you had to wait so long for them, or to be able to jump on their heads. Of course we have to do this again! This is why capes are awesome! Do want! Do want! There we go, okay. Since I got it up so high, it was actually pretty easy. Let's keep on clearing through, almost at the end, I'm pretty sure. Alright, here you gotta be careful, Magic Koopa is gonna be a jerk face and break the floor. Oh, dang it! Boink! And we're back! This part sucks. I hate it. Such a poopy head. Alright, here we go. Cape time and boss time! Boss number seven! I really wish they would have given us a fireball here instead of a cape, but this works. Fantastic! Easiest boss ever, aside from the ones that are easier. Anyways, guys, it is finally, finally time for the Star Road. Yeah! Well, first we have to save another Conehead Toad, but then it's time for Star Road. 
which is going to be crazy. See, the way Star Road works is you have to... You have to, uh... Clear each level twice. Each level has a secret exit and a normal exit, so you have to do all of those to get all 96 exits. Which, obviously, that's how it works, but those things are weird because when you do the normal exits, you actually don't unlock anything. So you basically have to do them just for the number. Anyways, we'll see you later, Bowser's Castle. Let's go over to... Star Road! Yeah! Alright, first off, we'll do this one. We'll do the secret exit here last. Because... It leads to the special world. Which we don't want to do right now. So let's just clear through here. Let's be super floaty, capety cape float Mario. So you'd have to hit that P-switch and do another chocolate... thingy. Okay, I guess you were supposed to do that for the normal exit as well. My bad. But anyways, the secret exit's up from here. I'm not quite sure exactly where, but you'd find it. Here's a yellow Yoshi. The yellow Yoshis will have the stomp power that the yellow shell gives you, no matter what color shell you get. And the red ones will give you fire flower, or fireballs, and the blue ones will give you wings, no matter what color shell you get, and so on. Here's an example. Okay, never mind. Oh, and there goes my cape. Fantastic. I needed that for one of the levels, too. And here's the exit. I'm going to move on to the next level. I may boink and then come back with a cape. It depends on which level it is. We'll see in a second. Let's move on. See, now we're actually at Star World 1. Here we go. Alright, this level I will not need the... The cape for. This one would basically just do this. The key is basically straight down from here. But I'm going to do the normal exit if I can. Unless I happen to... Okay, yeah. See, there's the key. And I'll boink to there later. I'm going to do the normal exit, though, which is way at the bottom. Uh, I believe it's one of those green circle exits, so you have to be pretty exact on where it is. And if I end up messing up, you guys will just see me boink to where it is. Woo, slow down! There's some coins, some stuff. Huh? Oh yeah, when he spits it out, it's still going to be fire, but when he's got it in his mouth, I'm pretty sure it'll do the stomp. This is crazy! No, Yoshi. You don't screw you, Yoshi. <laughs> Alright, so I guess this is just the exit. Alright, I'm gonna boink to that key. Boink, and we're back. Here we are. Kabam! Alright, Star World 1 down. Let's move on to number 2. Yeah. Alright, this one's a water level. See, what you can do is you can feed the star to Yoshi and that'll actually make him big, but I like to grab little Yoshi just so you swim faster. Makes his level go a lot faster. Just basically avoid all of the other guys so that you don't end up eating them and then Yoshi will grow then. Basically we just swim through really fast here. And it's awesome! Got him at the very end of my thing. Alright, the secret exit's gonna be if you swim below right there, so I will boink to there right after I get the normal exit, which is through here. And... There we go! Boink! And we're back! I accidentally got Yoshi big. My bad. I just... I love just getting blue dinosaurs big, if you know what I mean. Anyways... There is the key! Wabam! I don't know why the key goes wabam. That should be more of a button sound, but... Oh well. Alright, sorry for the random edit, guys. I just really needed this cape. Well, I didn't really need it, but it just makes it easier. Anyways, let's go on in. Alright, for the normal exit, it's pretty simple. You just run to the right, and it is right here. Alright, gonna boink back in there. Boink! And we're back. For this other exit, we just have to fly up, and it'll be there. We could either fly up, or we could grab his cloud thing. Gosh darn it. And we hit this. We get a key. No, don't spit it out, Yoshi! And then we go over here, and bam! Keyhole! Right, you next level. Really cutting it, cutting it tight here. It's gonna be hard to get all of this into one episode, but we're gonna try. All right, for this one, we just keep on moving right. This one's probably the more standard level out of the whole bunch. This one, I believe, you actually have to have like almost all of, if not all of the switch palaces to get the secret exit. I'm not quite sure on that. And I just did that. 
I just, I cannot believe I just did that. Anyways, boink, and we're back. I think I died somewhere around here. Anyways, kids, remember, don't just randomly jump around everywhere. You could fall off giant cliffs and stuff. I mean, I almost just did it again there, but oh well. Anyways, let's move to the right, because that's what you do in this game. You go right. The secret exit's right under here, so I'll boink back to there after I get the normal exit. Let's keep on moving. Normal exit should be coming up here pretty quickly. Yeah, I got the red Yoshi. I got the little Yoshi at the start and just fed him a few things, and kabam! So that's pretty sweet. And there we go. Boink! And we're back. I'm gonna go on down here, like I said. See, this is why you needed, I guess, just the red and the green ones. You also need either the shell up there, or you can have a Cape Mario and you hit this. Boom, get the key. Well, bam, go in that keyhole. All right, so I'll do the next, or the very last secret exit from that one level. I'll do that in the next video, and I'll continue on to the special world, so see you guys then. That's all for this episode of Let's Play Super Mario World. I'm Psycho, and bye, Internet.